Welcome to Apocalypse Ready, your guide to surviving anything life throws your way. Louis Zamperini was an American Olympic track star who served as a bombardier on a B-24 bomber during World War II on May 27, 1943. His plane was shot down over the Pacific Ocean Zamperini, and two other crew members, Francis McNamara and Harold Phillips, survived for 47 days on a life raft. This is the story of how Louis Zamperini survived the impossible and went on to inspire millions around the world with his message of hope and resilience. Zamperini and his crewmates were on a mission to bomb Japanese forces on the island of Nauru. As they approached the island, they were attacked by Japanese fighter planes. Zamperini's plane was hit and began to spiral out of control. The crew managed to bail out before the plane crashed, but they were now stranded at sea in a life raft. They had no food or water, and the sun was beating down on them mercilessly. Zamperini and his crewmates faced many hardships while they were stranded in the water. They were constantly hungry and thirsty. They also had to deal with the threat of sharks. On one occasion, a shark attacked the life raft and punctured it. Zamperini managed to fight it off with a makeshift spear. He made his spear out of a piece of bamboo that he found floating in the water. He sharpened the end of the bamboo with a piece of metal from the life raft. The crew was able to patch the hole and keep the raft afloat, but they knew that they were in constant danger from sharks. Zamperini and his crewmates were able to get food by catching fish. They would often wait until a school of fish swam close to the life raft and then spear them with their makeshift spears. They would also use a technique called chumming. This involves throwing bits of food into the water to attract fish. Once the fish were attracted, Zamperini and his crewmates would spear them as they swam by. On one occasion, Zamperini caught a large mahi-mahi fish using a makeshift hand line he had made from flotsam he retrieved from the water. Using a variety of fishing methods, the crew was able to catch enough fish to survive for the 47 days that they were stranded at sea. They also survived off of trapping and catching albatrosses. Water was a constant issue as rain was infrequent and unpredictable. So Zamperini and his crew collected rainwater in a makeshift container. They made from a canvas tarp that they had salvaged from their plane. They then conserved this water and only used the bare minimum to stay alive. Zamperini and his crewmates survived by working together and by never giving up hope. They also benefited from the fact that they were all physically fit and had survival training. Zamperini and his crewmates dealt with their psychological challenges by talking to each other and by supporting each other. They also prayed for strength and guidance. Unfortunately, McNamara succumbed to exposure from the elements on the 33rd day at sea. On September 8, 1943, after 47 days at sea, Zamperini and Phillips were rescued by a Japanese warship. They were found near the Marshall Islands, some 2,000 miles from their crash site. They were taken to a prisoner of war camp where they remained for two years after the war. Zamperini returned to the United States and became a motivational speaker. While many books were written about his experiences, one notable book was Unbroken, a World War II story of survival, resilience, and redemption by Laura Hillenbrand, which was later adapted into a movie. Louis Zamperini's life was a testament to the power of the human spirit. He survived unimaginable horrors during World War II, but he never lost his faith in humanity. He believed that forgiveness was the key to healing, and he spent the rest of his life spreading that message to others. When he passed away at the age of 97, he left behind a legacy of hope and inspiration that will continue to inspire generations to come. As the sun set on his remarkable life, Louis Zamperini knew that he had truly lived a life worth remembering. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe.